the introduction, drafting, debating, and passage of any bill can be a long, drawn-out process. There's no doubt that partisanship often plays a part in that. But recent efforts to create a national day in memory of the late Lincoln Alexander, Canada's first black member of parliament and cabinet minister, saw politicians from all parties putting their differences aside to honor this great Canadian. Lincoln Alexander was first elected to the House of Commons in 1968 as the progressive conservative candidate for Hamilton West. He was re-elected four times and served for 12 years. In 1985, on the advice of Prime Minister Brian Mulroney, Alexander was appointed Ontario's 24th Lieutenant Governor, becoming the first black person in Canada to serve in a vice-regal position. Mr. Speaker, as many in this House will know, January 21st was Lincoln Alexander's birthday, and so the de designation of this day is fitting for all he contributed to this country. It's fair to say, you know, Lincoln Alexander was uh, an individual uh, that had an impact uh, that went far beyond any defined uh, community, uh, that in fact, uh, whether it's uh, in the prairies, it's in the Atlantic, any region uh, of Canada, uh, individuals could draw inspiration um, from, uh, from Link in the things in which he was able to accomplish in the perspective of the time in which uh, he accomplished what he did, uh, Mr. Speaker. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. I appreciate the opportunity to uh, join in debate. Uh, I particularly enjoy the fact that it's one of the few times uh, we get to uh, 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 reach across the floor and, uh, and be in agreement. Sentiments recently shared by MPs in the House of Commons reflect their agreement in moving forward a bill aimed at designating a day in memory of Lincoln Alexander, who passed away in 2012. Tell us about Lincoln Alexander and, and your thoughts on his life and legacy. You know what, I think uh, Link means so much to so many people right across the country because he broke barriers, there's no doubt about that. He was a very, very accomplished Canadian. And yet, above all, he was always down to earth. He had time for everybody and made sure that his journey opened doors for other Canadians. And I think that's something we all ought to be celebrating. Hamilton Mountain MP Chris Charlton first met Link when she was a young intern at Ontario's provincial legislature. Link was somebody who always transcended partisan politics. You know, as you know, he was a conservative. I'm a new Democrat. But boy, when we were at community events, he made a point of actually introducing me to people in the room. Partisanship never got in the way of Link's love of community and of his love of politics. And I just so appreciated that. After completing his term as Lieutenant Governor in 1991, Lincoln Alexander became the Chancellor of the University of Guelph. He was the longest-serving chancellor in the university's history. Alexander served for an unprecedented five terms here until 2007. When he died, he was given a state funeral. And his memory lives on. Awards, public buildings, and three elementary schools are named in his honor throughout Ontario, as is Alexander Hall at the University of Guelph. And a major expressway in Hamilton is named the Lincoln Alexander Parkway. There's a lot of people involved, and uh, I give them all credit because it's not an easy task what they have to do now. On November 28, 2013, the province of Ontario was unanimous in proclaiming January 21st Lincoln Alexander Day. I was never so proud of our government. On that day, they, it was as if, it was as if they were saying to Ontario, we got your back. We're going to do the right thing. This is the right thing to do. Alexander's widow, Marnie Beale Alexander, is hoping to see the same thing happen nationally. It was always my hope to be able to do that. And having had it passed at the provincial level, I'm feeling very, very confident that we will get this done. She credits MP Chris Charlton with getting the ball rolling. It was a privilege when, uh, when Marnie asked me if I could... Uh, could try and get this moving, get a bill on the floor of the House to actually recognize Link in this way. Um, and I was absolutely certain that this ought to be something that all parties would support. Last December, Charlton introduced a private member's bill to push for a national Lincoln Alexander Day. 
This um, ran into some snags when it was introduced by a non-government party in the House. And so what we did was we took it to the Senate, and they were wonderful. We had first reading, and then we had second reading. Since then, Bill S-213, an act respecting Lincoln Alexander Day, introduced by Senator Don Meredith, has had a third reading and been adopted by the Senate. The provincial uh, you know, government had recognized Lincoln Alexander, and I thought it was an excellent idea to recognize this man and his contributions to Canada. This past June, the bill finally reached the House of Commons. People we spoke with in Alexander's hometown of Hamilton reflect on the man who broke down barriers but remained an everyman. He'd be so friendly to anyone, whether he knew them or not, and... Of course, incredibly proud of the man, like he conquered a lot in his lifetime. Hey, listen, there's 365 days, eh? And, uh, I, I think giving, giving one day to Link is a good thing, because he did do proud, to, not only to Hamilton, and, but to Canada. Everybody just knows him, or knew his name. Link. They called him Link. They even call his street. They named the street after him and they called the street Link. <laughs> it was important that we recognize this man in this way and I think, you know, the January 21st going forward once this bill is passed will be recognized as Link Day in, in Canada. The hope is that the bill will easily pass through the next stages of the legislative process, receive royal assent and come into force in time to officially mark the next Lincoln Alexander Day across Canada. Reporting from Hamilton, Ontario, I'm Heather Seaman.